<laughs> Manic Miner was Britain's first software blockbuster. You played Miner Willy, who had to jump his way through 20 screens of platforms collecting treasure, all to a continuous soundtrack, which had previously been thought impossible to do on the Sinclair machine. It also had a very British sense of humour. When you died, a Python-esque foot descended to crush the hapless miner. As if that weren't daunting enough, there are also mutant jellyfish and flying lavatories to contend with. And here's Matthew Smith. Matthew, how on earth do you come to write a programme like Manic Miner? I do shut myself away for a while to actually get the programme written. Matthew Smith became very wealthy very quickly with the success of Manic Miner and its sequel, Jet Set Willy. But then he disappeared. He stopped writing games and he vanished into video game myth. Uh, for the past few years there's been a website up called Where Is Matthew Smith? And people have been calling in sightings. According to some rumours, he was planting tulips in Amsterdam. Other people claim to have heard, heard him calling in on radio talk shows or seeing him in the local supermarket. I think it's going to get to a stage where one person can't write a whole game. I was 17 when I wrote about it, man. From start to finish, uh, from I was in Italy writing, drawing pictures of some levels with some water running down. And I came back, and in eight weeks we were duplicating cassettes. I had um, a Tandy TRS-80, but it crashed every time anybody put the kettle on, so I had to work at night. Uh, my favourite monster in Manic Miner, um, I, I got the most compliments on the telephones. There was a game in an Asari, written by an American called Bill Hogue. He was uh, very much an inspiration. The game he wrote was Miner 2049er, which was a little man jumping around on platforms, collecting things and avoiding the baddies. <laughs> Sounds like a winner, I like it. All right, Matt, we're here. We've got a Spectrum. Right, well, let's load up Manic Miner, the game that you obviously wrote. Uh, these, I, the Spectrum keys confuse me because it's got the words on there. This is load. Nice symbol shift. I made the first screen fairly hard, just so... A stranger to it could enjoy a lot of the frustration without having to get very good at it. It, it, ah. is, it is. A simple mistake like that is enough to end it all. Where did the boot come from that kills you at the end, that all uses, loses your chance? Um, out of the top of the screen. <laughs> well, that's no fair to you. Manic Miner, this is the first game. Jet Set Willy sort of is the sequel to it, isn't it? It's the same character and stuff. How long did that take to... Oh, to that, it was a slog getting Jet Set Willy finished. Were they really pressuring you to come up with, with the, the next big hit? Were you getting people phoning you up saying, come on, like, you can yeah, do this? Yeah, the assumption was it's once you do one in a certain time, you can keep doing it in the same time. Every Spectrum owner eagerly awaited the final release of the trilogy, the now legendary Minor Willy Meets the Taxman. Well, isn't there supposed to be a third one? Jet Set Willy Meets the Taxman or something? Uh, yeah. Well, what happened to that? Is that... Uh, the Taxman was way at the back of the queue there. Oh, really? <laughs> Without well, being rude, how much did you make from Manic Miner? I did have a substantial sum, but I expected a whole lot more, mm. so I spent what I had did fairly you, foolishly. You are the stuff of legend. You are a legend. There's no doubt about it. In this sort of world, you are. Can I run past some rumours that are on the net about you, and you can just say, tell us if it's true or if it's false? Um, you lived in Holland in a commune. This is, yeah. What, when did that happen? That was a great time. Uh, I went there in 1995. Okay, you worked as a fish seller. Uh, no, I don't think I ever sold fish. I tried to get a job in the fish gutting factory. <laughs> uh, but I applied at the wrong time of year. What does it feel like to, like to know there are, you know, sort of a lot of people interested in what you're doing now, 20, you know, 20 years after you wrote this? Well, everything comes around and goes around. Uh, like, five years after I did it, I was a washout, and, uh, ten years after I did it, I was history. But it's coming up to 20 years now, and I'm a legend. 